the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. of one shouting in the desert. Get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him to travel. Every valley must be filled up, and every hill and mountain leveled off. The winding roads must be made straight, and the rough paths made smooth. All mankind will see God's salvation. I baptize you with water but someone is coming who is much greater than I. I'm not good enough even to untie his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire.
cattle are knowing the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love the Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and stay. Good evening. Tonight's top story. Emperor Augustus decreed that all people are to be registered. Crowds of travelers have been swarming into the city as they head for the hometowns of their ancestors. How are things out there on the streets, Patrick? It's definitely been a crazy day, but things have finally calmed down a little. The hotels and inns are at full capacity, and some restaurants are running low on food. interrupt our currently scheduled program to bring you this special report. Good evening, Mary and Joseph. Thank you for taking the time to share your experience with me. Tell me about the child's birth. We had to get to Bethlehem to the city of David. I knew the baby was coming. There were no accommodations in the entire city. Finally, on the outskirts of town, an innkeeper let us stay in his barn. A barn? This baby was born in a barn? Yes, but it was warm and the hay was fresh. There was a manger there and Jesus was content to sleep there. I'm glad you've been able to get a place to stay. I sense there is something special about this baby, Jesus. Why did you name him Jesus? An angel of the Lord appeared to both of us in our dreams and told us to name him Jesus. Yes, Jesus is God's son, the Messiah. Amazing, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
another long night looking after sheep. Call him Mac. Call him Jack. Call me Little Bo Peep. We have to watch, take some care, be prepared for thieves. Or for lions, or for wolves, and for poisonous leaves. So we take our turns watching through the night. And if danger comes, we must stand and fight. Mm -hmm. There we were. In the field, some were nodding off. When we heard, like a dream, I know you want to scoff. We heard music all around, most heavenly of sounds. Angels right in front of us saying, no need to fuss. We were scared through, and they knew we were shaking through and through. They had news for us to share. Get this, shepherds from nowhere. <laughs> Being told the plans of God, we aren't healed enough for fraud. This is real, it's the deal. They said this night, turning morn, a tiny baby was born. Do not worry, do not frown. The Messiah has come down. In King David's city, he was born this day in a humble inn, so the angels say. They told us where he was. It was all close by, and we fell to the ground when the light filled the sky. We fell down afraid during this serenade while they sang of God's glory in this first Christmas story. When they'd gone, their light still shone, and we jumped to our feet, for our hearts were still burning from all that heat. We ran like the wind to an animal shelter. It was just as they said, while our hearts did swelter. The bundled child was lying in a manger, and his parents welcomed us, perfect strangers. We got it. This was God's son who had just begun to reveal his mind to save wayward mankind. Salvation in a baby was what we could see, and the power of it all drove us to our knees. And thus the child born to us made prophecies come true, and it's our call as shepherds to share this news with Thank you. you.
Dear God, let your goodness, Lord, appear to us that we, made in your image, conform ourselves to it. In our own strength, we cannot imitate your majesty, power, and wonder, nor is it fitting for us to try. But your mercy reaches from the heavens through the clouds to the earth below. You have come to us as a small child, but you have brought us the greatest of all gifts, the gift of eternal love. Caress us with your tiny hands, embrace us with your tiny arms, and pierce our hearts with your soft, sweet cries. May we be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us now and forever. Amen. Mary, did you know that your baby boy one day walk on water Mary did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters did you know your baby boy has come to make you new and this child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm hand. Did you know your baby boy has walked where angels trod? And when you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. Thousands of miles away in the foreign lands of the East, a group of wise men heard about the news of Jesus' birth. They followed a star that led them across deserts and mountains on a long and difficult journey. The bright star led them to the land of Israel. 
They knew that a king was going to be born, so they went to the leader Herod. We have come from the east to worship the one who has been born king of the Jews, they proclaimed. Herod was concerned. He hadn't heard of this. A king? But I'm the king, he said. He demanded that his court scholars find out what this meant. Sure enough, there was a prophecy. A king would be born in Israel. This was the Messiah promised thousands of years before. Herod told the wise men to find the king and then bring back the news to him so he could worship the king too. But Herod didn't want to worship the king. He wanted to kill him. The wise men left Herod's palace and saw the star moving again. This time it led them right to the house of Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem. There they met the young child growing up in the house of the carpenter and his wife. They worshipped him and brought him beautiful gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, all gifts fit for a king. God warned the wise men in a dream that they should not tell Herod where to find Jesus, so the wise men returned a different way home. Jesus' birth was the fulfillment of many old prophecies. It was also the beginning of a new era in history. He had come. He was here. The world would never be the same.
shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary, the babe, the son of Mary. One night, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Get up. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Mary, wake up. Quickly, go get Jesus. We have to leave. What? Go get Jesus. We have to leave. <sighs> yeah, that's right. To Egypt. Right away. Uh, what's going on? We're in danger. We have to leave. You have to go get dressed. Go get your pants on and don't forget your belt. Get your shirt, put your deodorant on, brush your teeth, and don't forget your mask. They would stay in Egypt until after Herod's death, and the angel told them that they were safe to go back to Israel. Thank you.